Hello and welcome back. It's Kyle and today is Sunday, June 30th, 2024 and we have done it. Uh, 90 hour fast is complete. As a recap, I started my 90 hour fast on Wednesday just before 8 p.m. So I'm rounding it to 8 p.m. Uh, for the sake of time, uh, timekeeping to make it a little bit easier. Today I could have broken my fast as early as 2 p.m. Uh, but instead I went to 3 p.m. so I could have a four hour window. The plan was to have a four hour window anyways, um, but I wanted that four hour window to be covering supper. Um, I had intentions of eating, eating a little bit before supper, eating supper, and then having some popcorn uh, about six o'clock at night to wind down before seven o'clock to close out that four hour window. However, um, because I'm an idiot, uh, I had to go to the store. So on the way back from the store, my three o'clock came. It was time that I could break the fast and uh, I was craving McDonald's. So I stopped at McDonald's and got some food. I'll go over that in a second. And uh, so that's what I broke my fast with. And then came home, uh, had a dessert type snack. I'll get to that in a second as well. I'll get to all the food in a little bit. Uh, had a drink, we made supper. I had supper and now I am paying the price. It is just after seven o'clock right now. Um, I actually started, stopped eating, um, closed out that open window and started my new fast at 6.45 tonight. So 6.45 on Sunday, June 30th. I'll go for another 90 at least hours. Um, this time around, that'll take me to Thursday, July 4th. Um, somewhere in the afternoon, I have to look. My app tells me when the 90 hours is up, so I don't have to do all the math in my head. Uh, but yeah, so I talked about earlier, Finally Fasting is the YouTube channel that I, um, that really like kicked me in the gear to get me going this time around. And he did a video, I've, I've watched so many of his videos. He's got a bunch of good ones up, um, including he just put up one today on TikTok. Um, but he did a video on how he breaks his fast and what he eats and everything. And, uh, on one of his videos, he talked about how he broke his fast by eating 3000 calories in about a one hour refeeding window and how that might sound like a bunch of calories. But then he showed that before when he was actually a lot thinner, he did the same thing, breaking his fast, but he did it with about double the amount of calories. So around 6,000 calories to break his fast. And again, he's a lot smaller than I am. Um, but his, his philosophy is pretty much fast when you're fasting. And then when you break your fast, eat whatever you want and then start your fast immediately after you're done eating and go again. Um, just keep doing the fast. And if you're doing fasting, you'll automatically consume less calories than if you weren't fasting, which means you'll automatically lose weight. Of course, I'm paraphrasing him entirely. Uh, so I don't want to say, I don't want to say those are his exact words, but that's what I got out of what he's been doing. And it's working fantastic for him. So I tried that. Now, again, I already said it once, I'm an idiot. Uh, I This is not my first rodeo on fasting. You've seen me fasting if you've seen my uh, channel for any length of time. With that, um, I've even had people comment, thank you by the way, uh, how I should break my fast and all that good stuff. I know what I should have done. I had it planned out to break my fast by having a little can of pineapple juice. And then I had a can of actual pineapple, like pineapple chunks that I have in the fridge right now. Uh, that is how I was planning on breaking my fast. And then, so I was planning on eating that and drinking that right about three o'clock. And then somewhere around four o'clock, 
I was going to mix together a can or two of tuna and some mayo and eat that with wheat thins. And then for supper, I was going to go pretty hardcore with taco salad. Taco salad tonight I made um, beef, black beans, rotel, uh, green chilies, and then obviously cheese, lettuce, tortilla chips. I was gonna have um, a bowl or two of taco salad and then a taco or two as well um, to cut down on the chips, even though tortilla chips are made out of tortillas, but tortillas feel healthier to me when they were low carb tortillas. The chips aren't low carb. That did not go to plan. Uh, like I said, I went to McDonald's instead because I was out and about. And when I got past, I was like, oh, an unsweet tea sounds really good now that I can break my fast. It has zero calories anyway, so I could have had it at any time, but I was avoiding going to any restaurant and we can't get the tea that we normally make at home. They must have like, everybody stopped carrying it. So don't know what's up with that, but I've been craving unsweet tea for a while. And I normally do unsweet decaffeinated tea at home, which is what we can't get. So McDonald's unsweetened tea is caffeinated and I haven't had any caffeine since Wednesday night either. Uh, so I, I was like, oh, I should stop and get unsweet tea. And then I was like, oh, well, I'm hungry. I can break my fast. Why not get food? And so that's when I got the food. And <clears throat> again, I know I'm an idiot. I know. So I got a double quarter pounder meal. Uh, and I substituted out the uh, ketchup and mustard for Big Mac sauce. I got a large fry. I got a little cup of mayo to dip the fries in because that's how I like to eat my fries. And then I got a triple cheeseburger. Of course, both burgers without pickles because pickles are absolutely disgusting. And then the large unsweet tea. Um, All together, that's around, I wanna say it's around 2000 calories, um, maybe a little bit more than that. I put it into my fitness pal, I don't remember exactly what it is. Um, all said and done today, I had just shy of 4,000 calories total. Um, got home, I had uh, I had the pineapple, one can of pineapple juice. I did not eat any of the pineapple chunks um, just because I, I could not eat. I struggled to finish the McDonald's, but I'm like, hey, I paid for this, I'm gonna eat it. And I knew if I didn't eat it, it wouldn't get eaten because I can't eat again for another 90 hours. Um, so I forced myself to eat that. And then I got, when I was at the store, um, I got some Rice Krispie treats for dessert because I'm like, I want something sweet, but not too sweet. Um, and Rice Krispies are, I'm not gonna say they're healthy, but as far as like desserts, pre-made desserts that you can get, that's not like a fruit and yogurt parfait, <laughs> or yogurt it's on the healthier side they do a lot of that in the protein the high protein low carb diet stuff um so that was my thought behind that i don't know if there's any truth to that or not so i had a couple rice krispie treats i had a couple of my yogis because the mcdonald's absolutely destroyed my stomach so that's got uh, the probiotics in it um in the thought processes that will help my stomach. And then I had two glasses of Mountain Dew, two big glasses of Mountain Dew, which again, I haven't had Mountain Dew since Wednesday. Um, I haven't had any caffeine at all since Wednesday. And then we made taco salad. And again, I told you what was in the taco salad already. I had less than one bowl of that. Um, I made a smaller bowl than I normally would. And normally I'd eat two bowls of taco salad and then two or three tacos. Um, I had less than one bowl. I actually ended up giving some of that bowl to the dogs because I absolutely could not eat anymore. It was just way too much food for me. Uh, and my stomach is definitely paying the price for breaking my fast like an idiot. So I told my mom, um, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, don't let me do that when I break my fast next time on the 4th. Which, of course, she chuckled, um, but 
I'm being serious. Uh, I will not be breaking my fast like that next time because, oh, I regret it already. Um, it was a bad decision. Don't do it. Break your fast cleanly. Um, and honestly, I don't think next time I will even eat anywhere near that many calories either. I don't know how he eats that many calories in that short a time. Um, like I said, I did a four hour window and to eat all those calories in and I only got about 4,000 calories um, and I'm regretting it. it. Of course, it's probably the type of food that gave me those calories instead of eating like salad and stuff like that. Uh, that's probably a big part of it, but oh, big mistake. But how did we do though? That's the important thing. So again, I started the fast on Wednesday at eight o'clock. Our first weigh-in for that was then Thursday morning and we weighed in at 342.8 on Thursday morning. This morning, Sunday morning, so Thursday, Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday, 72 hours later weighing in, um, we are at down to 331.0. 331.0 <laughs> that's 11.8 pounds down in three days of fasting so again fasting technically started at eight o'clock at night i didn't weigh myself then um weighed myself the following morning so the weight would actually be a little bit higher um if i weighed myself right after eating right when the fasting started but we're not playing that game um, we're going to play the fast actually started on Thursday when I weighed myself three days later, Sunday morning, weighed myself again, that right there, 11.8 pounds down. Um, not bad. Now, of course, with all the food I ate today, I will weigh myself in the morning and we'll see how much weight I have gained because of that. I'm anticipating somewhere around five pounds of weight gain because you're gonna have water weight. Most of that 11.8 pounds was water weight anyway. So we're gonna gain a lot of that back uh, because of the salt content and everything. Plus the amount of calories you took in. Um, 4,000 calories is over a whole pound. Uh, so unless I somehow evacuate a pound worth of stuff into the toilet, um, which after how my stomach feels now that's not an impossibility let me just say sorry tmi uh but i'm anticipating about a five pound increase because not all of that 11.8 pounds is actual weight loss uh but again we're at the start of the next 90 hours so maybe a day or two of seeing the weight go up a little bit but then we should see the weight go down again <coughs> being at 331.0 right now is the lowest weight that I have been in since April of this year, um, which is good. This is also the weight that I was at when I went on our last trip, left for our trip, um, almost to the tenth of a pound. Uh, when I got back from that trip, I was at 339, so about eight pounds added during the course of the uh, seven day cruise is like 10 days gone total or something like that. 11 days gone total. Eight pounds added there. Uh, 320 is the lowest weight that I've been since I started really keeping track of my weight uh, back in 2022. Um, and I don't remember when exactly it was. I want to say it was also around April or so of 2022 that I got to that weight. I don't remember exactly, uh, but I have not been lower than 320 since at least 2022. Um, and honestly, I think it goes back even further than that. I think it's back to like 2020. Um, but so once we get lower than 320, uh, that'll be huge. And right now we're only 11 pounds away. Um, and again, 11 pounds was three days of fasting. Uh, but again, our weight will go up. We know it'll go up and then it'll come down again. So I'm not anticipating breaking that 320 mark this next go around, but hopefully the time after that is when we get below 320. Uh, with that being said, 
Um, obviously, as you can probably tell because of my story at the beginning, all the food I ate um, did not settle well with my stomach, so I am not feeling the greatest right now. Um, with While I've been fasting, I've been sleeping excellent. Uh, so I would not be surprised if I don't sleep well tonight either um, because that's how my body works. If I eat crap, I sleep crap. Um, if I eat well, I sleep well. That's I think that's how it's supposed to be for everybody. Uh, but sometimes you just get in the habit of eating like crap for so long that you get used to sleeping like crap and you don't really realize how bad you've been sleeping until you have a couple good nights in a row of really good sleep. And then you're like, oh yeah, this is what it's actually supposed to be like and it makes a big difference. I think that also helps because I haven't had the uh, popper caffeine that was helping me sleep better as well. Um, even though I can't really tell a difference when I have caffeine or not other than the headache I get when I don't have caffeine um, but I think that is playing a big part a bigger part of my sleeping pattern than what I thought it was um, so I'll try to keep an eye on that as well uh, that being said when I was at the store I did get a case of Mountain Dew Zero um, because a lot of these weight loss channels I've been watching and all that stuff with the experts. Um, one of the things that they keep harping on is diet pop isn't horrible. Um, and if it makes it easier to do a diet <coughs> by drinking a diet pop, do what makes it easier. Um, Mountain Dew Zero is zero calories. Uh, zero grams of sugar, zero carbs, zero everything. I can drink that and not break my fast. Now, there are a couple different types of fasting. Um, so, there is the traditional fast that is for like health benefits, um, autophagy and all that crap. There is mixed reviews on whether a diet pop like Mountain Dew Zero, for instance, takes you out of autophagy and all that crap uh, but I am doing a fast for weight loss and zero calories is zero calories so not taking in any calories means I will lose weight that is the main goal at this point in time um, yes I need to break myself of the habit of drinking pop altogether and I can do that but it's easier to do the fast while having the zero calorie pop. So I am going to allow myself to have that on occasion. Um, and so right now I'm thinking one or two cans a day um, as needed. Uh, Cause I need caffeine and I really don't want to do coffee. Uh, so that's where we're going to go. I don't care what anybody says on that. Uh, and then later on, I'll try to wean myself off of that as well. But with that, this has been going on for about 18 and a half minutes. So I am going to go ahead and shut up. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Again, down 11 pounds at the end of our first 90 hour fast. That's three days of fasting plus a little on top. Um, yeah, that's excellent. Hopefully we can keep this up. And uh, we are 75 days away from our trip. Uh, so if I could keep that up, I'll be well under the 300 mark by our trip, which would be phenomenal. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.